Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. I've just finished work and we're down the beach. It's two hours before low water and we're gonna go around all the uh, all the harbors and different bays, just seeing what we can find, hopefully find some oysters and stuff, but fingers crossed. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, woo! I've never been foraging around here before, so it'll be interesting to see what's around. I'm seeing a lot of different shells and stuff. I've seen some, uh, some scallop shells further up but I don't think any any are full. I'm yet to find some of them. But that's why I'm coming into the harbours because if you're gonna find scallops in Guernsey, it's gonna be round St. Peter Port Way. Check that out. All different sorts of pottery. I'm not gonna pick it all up because there's quite a lot down here. What's that? Is that an oyster shell? It's a nice oyster shell there. That's a good sign. Finding the shells of the creatures, you know they're going to be around somewhere. A lot of variety of seaweeds around here. We've got dulse there. This is sugar kelp. We've got bladder rack, razor rack, all in a very small space. As you can see, the litter on this beach, all the different pottery. Always a shame to see, but it's better that than plastic. <laughs> Not finding a whole great deal in this spot. So I'm gonna move over to the harbour side and hopefully find something decent there. There's a lot of shells around here, but a lot of it's just limpets. Check that out for a hole. Just walking along the side here. There's nothing in it, I don't think. But it just shows you, just walking along the weed here and you can just move it to the side and bam, you'll find a giant hole. Be good if I have my hook, but I don't have it today. There's nothing in this. I've already put my hand in there, but I'm gonna work my way up here and see if we can find a lobster. Nope, that's about ten I've found, and <laughs> none alive. Determined to find one. What is that? Oh, look at that for an oyster. That's a beauty right there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get him off the rock, but hey ho. That's a Pacific rock oyster. Looks like it's been battered. I'm gonna have a little look around this area now and hopefully I can find some more. I haven't got a knife or anything with me today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a clean rock and I'm gonna... Just gonna knock the top shell off. <sighs> look at that for a fresh oyster. That is a beauty. Get it out, check that out. That is an absolute whopper. Mmm. Bit of a chew on that one. That was gorgeous though. Fresh as anything. Hopefully we can find a few more like that. Finally found one. The old Venus clam. That's what we want, a few more of these. I've walked about 100 yards, it's very same ground. Lots of, uh, lots of scallop shells still, and just one. Usually where there's one, there's more. <laughs> it's fun just to look around, you see all sorts. This here is a spider crab claw. I think I seen, where is it? There we go. And that there is a shanker claw or brown edible crab. There you go. You can see the two differences. But I doubt we'll be finding them on this beach. There's not enough structure. Maybe around that pipe there might be a few. Always a shame to find stuff like this on the beach. There's tons of it here. So I'm going to take this up with me when I go to the next spot. Look at that. All sorts of drinks cans, bait packets, and some pills. Nice one. Good deed of the day. Make sure I'm not throwing my, my nice Venus clam away. Do get some more. I think we've got a leak. <laughs> I 
great place to come forage. Never know what you're gonna. What is that? Oh, check that out. That would have been a giant oyster right there. Shame it's dead. <laughs> That's a huge native oyster, that. That would have been a cracker to eat. Yeah, still it's gone. You can see how big that is compared to my hand. That's a real oyster right there. It's a big old rock oyster there. I won't be eating this one today. If you look around at the ground, there's rubbish, there's oil coming in. So I won't be eating any of that today. No oysters. Nice big one there though. Maybe further down where it's a bit cleaner. If I find any natives, I might keep them. But at the moment, we we'll just have fun looking through this lot. That's a big old oyster there. I just seen where that where that big one is before. There's another big one just there. They seem to like to be stuck high up the walls. And those are nice big oysters, but definitely not worth eating. There's nothing in there. Another good size oyster right there. The size of that one. Finding some beauties. It's good to see them here. Just a shame we can't eat them. As you can see, <coughs> there's tons of old crab shell here. It's just littered with it. Size of that claw. So the shellfish in this corner is gonna be feeding on this when the water washes it through. And that could leave you very ill. The size of those for mussels. Those are real big mussels, that. I think this right here is a queen scallop or a scallop shell shall I say and that right there is your big scallop awesome literally finding piles of these giant oysters these things are absolutely massive a few smaller ones there that right there is what you call a shanker. Look at the size of that. Completely dead. But just the claws on that alone are huge, man. Look at that. It absolutely stinks. <laughs> Gotta have your sea legs. <laughs> Got one scallop here. I'm just walking around picking up the shit. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty right there. That's exactly what we were after. Usually they'll start flapping. Just like that. That's what we wanted to see. Couple of these for the dinner plate. That's what it's all about. When I get back to the top, I'll be looking at the legal size limit of these. Just to make sure they're in. I'm pretty sure they are. Some nice sized scallops there. Ah, chuffed I managed to find some. And the tide's still going down for another half an hour yet. So hopefully we can find a couple more. Someone definitely had a bad time diving. <laughs> it's an old flipper. I'm making my way to the other side now. I can't find any more scallops anywhere. So I'm just going to trudge my way through the mud. There's a small baby scallop there. Let's see if he will swim. Nope. But that one's definitely a bit small, I think. So what I'll do is I'll leave that one. Nice size lobster claw right there. It's amazing the life that you see down here. Or the bit of both really. Dead and alive. I'm just working my way straight along the wall. Hoping to spot some more some more scallops. Some really old battered up crab pots there. <laughs> They've been washed up by the storms and stuff. What's that? Nope, no scallop there. Big old pool here. Always like to check around inside tires and stuff. You never know what you're gonna find. You can find brown crab, 
lobster, you name it. A big old basket here. Oh, no way. No. <laughs> Look at the size of this, guys. Where is it? That is a monster lobster. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is what I was talking about. Look at the utter size of that. Woo! That's a big old lobster right there. And that's why you go around looking in the tires and stuff. That is a beautiful lobster. Really hard. That is a whopper. <laughs> I can't believe how big that is. That's mental. Look at the barnacles on this thing. That is a giant lobster right there. Look at that. That is ridiculous. And you know I'm eating good tonight, guys. Hell yeah. What I'm gonna do, cause I've got the lobster. I haven't measured these two, but I think they're gonna be too small. So we'll let those go. And I'm gonna keep the bigger, the, uh, the bigger, bigger scallop. I'm still in shock that I've actually got one that big. Look at the size of it. That is massive. <laughs> oh my days. I brought my little paint tub from work. <laughs> Look at the lobster. <laughs> that is ridiculous. There's a lot more, uh, a lot more bigger shells around here. I'm hoping to find some more live ones. I wouldn't mind a few more scallops. This has turned out to be a great forage. Had a raw oyster to sort it all out. Wouldn't mind a few more. Hell yeah. Things like that are never good to see on the on the beaches. Big old battery there is rotten away. It's quite interesting. This right here is a slipper limpet. And you can see they stack themselves on top of each other. I won't be eating them today. I've got inside guys. Oh my god. Baby scallop already. This is a place where no one goes. I've already found a nice a nice lobster and this is a great place. I don't want to be here too long. I know I know the tide still has half an hour to go down yet. That's why I'm confident in here. And look at the oysters. These there is oysters littered here. Got big Pacific rock oysters and they are plentiful. Look at the size of some of these. Oh, that one's dead. But the oysters here are ridiculous. The structure of this thing is incredible. And if you can see, there's water right there. So there's a, there's a wall barricading me from getting completely soaked. There's all sorts of litter in here, but what I'm doing is, there's been more and more octopus seen lately. And to me, if you're gonna find an octopus, it's gonna be in here. Already found a lobster, already found scallop. One decent scallop, that is. I don't know what on earth that is. You got any idea, guys? <laughs> what I'm gonna do is just walk straight to the end and have a little mooch about. And then I'm coming straight back and getting out because I don't, I don't, even though I know the tide isn't going to whip up yet, I still don't trust it. <laughs> this is a very dangerous place to be. A very dangerous place. I'm almost at the end now. Not really finding anything else. But still worth a little look around. All right, what's in here? Give this a little flip. All right, what's in here? We've got velvet swimming crabs, lots of Tom Pot blennies here. Absolutely loads of them. There's another one there. Vicious little things, these. <laughs> all sorts of creatures, big shrimps here as well. See them all getting washed down. 
tons of them. I'm gonna flip this back, give them their home back. Still no octopus though. Check this scallop out. Sitting there with his mouth open. That's not a bad one that. Not a bad size at all. That's the second that's the second scallop we've got. I walked straight past this one. It was just laying over its <laughs> run, Gobi, <Goldie>, run! <laughs> Having a right blast in here. So I'm gonna keep this one. I've just spotted. Look at that. You see how this is all dug out and you can see the brown crab. Uh, I don't know how big he is. Is he a keeper though? Look at that. It's not a bad brown crab, that one at all. But I've got the big lobster. There's no need for me to keep this. Just want to give you guys a quick show. Definitely feisty. <laughs> It'd probably go legal, but I'm not interested in keeping that. You can go home. There's my scallop. There we are. Does anyone know what sort of an enemy that is? I've never seen that before. Awesome creature. Just picked up another scallop here. That's another nice one, that. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm not 100% on this one, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna leave this one there. And I'm gonna take the biggest one. There's quite a few stuff around here though. There's more oysters. Oh, it's absolutely packed in here. I could spend hours in a place like this. There's all sorts of sponges. These are Orma shells. There's quite a few in here. Absolutely tons of them. But even if we found one, it wouldn't be legal to keep any. So, time to get out of here now, I think. We've had our fun, I've got my work bag. My bucket's there with the old lobster in. And now another good old scallop. I'm back out of the hole now. You can see the structure. And I do not recommend anyone try and do that. I did that because I know I'm in a safe, safe zone. But if you get caught out, you will die in there. So any kids or anything, please don't do that. But happy I got another decent scallop. Got the big old Larry with me. That tide's gone right out, as you can see. And I am way in the mud now. <laughs> but hoping... I can find a few more. That was the lobster spot right in there. What a cracker. I cannot believe I found a giant lobster like that. This is the biggest lobster I found on the channel easily. I'm just gonna trudge my way back. The water's a lot more shallow now. So hopefully find a few more decent stuff. See, things like that, that could hold anything. Doesn't look like there's anything in there today. But just a hole like that on the low water could hold a giant lobster. There's the old broken pots. That there looks like it's been dug out underneath. And I'm gonna lift it. As soon as I've moved it, there's always a load of rubbish. There's nothing there. These are just old broken up pots from the uh, commercial boys. So what I'm doing is just looking underneath, hoping I've just seen a lobster whisker. Where is it? Where's he going? There's definitely a lobster in here, guys. There he is. Look at that. Got him. Look at that. Got another one. <laughs> Look at that. Another bloody lobster! <laughs> oh, I'm over the moon! Oh, what an absolute beast! Old broken up crab pots. And there's lobsters underneath. Some more giant oysters round here. Let's see if the lobster wants to pick him up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, lobster's got him. It's a big old oyster there. Larry's got him. 
but we don't want it so that's it let it go i've got my two lobsters i'm gonna let the uh the uh venus clams and that go i've got my two scallops two lobsters and that is plenty my gopro is covered in in mud now i'm still looking around i can't believe that i found two lobsters and scallops today i did not expect a lobster one bit and you find them underneath a barrel and underneath a crab pot that's well unexpected you can tell those crab pots were there for a long time because they're just covered they're all broken up covered in mud no one's moved those in years so you can see why is that one nope you can see why the lobsters make their home there because there's constant shellfish getting dropped around here so they're gonna they're gonna make their homes around it where there's free food that's what it's all about that is one hell of a haul i've just come down to the water to wash everything off because everything's absolutely caked in mud at the moment and that's what we don't want what i'm doing is just getting all the mud and the grit off everything these are awesome any of these gonna flap nope they go in the bucket there's big old larry that's a lovely sized lobster right there did not expect to find anything that size what a beauty and we got the little wee one or should we let it go i think we should let it go we'll keep the nah i know what we'll do what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna get a few pictures i'm gonna let this big one go because it's a big female and that's that's for our future generation that and i'll eat the little one i don't really want to kill something that big there we go and you can see how thick this lobster is compared to my hand i've got big hands as well so yeah i'm not going to keep this one that's an absolute beauty so what we're going to do is let this little bugger go one last glimpse for the folks beautiful sized lobster that he ain't going very quick so little lob see what Looks like the big lobster wants to come back. Look at him. He's sitting there. You see, it's lovely and deep. Straight gone. Woo! See how fast that tide's come up. That's why you don't mess around around there. You could, you can find yourself dead or in very big trouble very quickly. Back in the kitchen now. I've got Mr. Larry. I've just pulled my foraging hook out just to make sure. Double check from the back of the eye socket, back of the shell there, to the back of the carapace, shall I say. And you can see it's well in. Otherwise, I would have taken that back down the beach. And scallops need to be 100 millimeters or 4 inches, which these are a lot bigger. Um, oh. Oh, well that's great there's there's not <laughs> there's not a there's not a scallop in that one <laughs> so we got one scallop one lobster and all i'm doing to kill it is the same as normal you've got the cross on the top of the head here just lock my knife and you go straight down just like so there'll be a few nerves and that's the lobster completely dead now so what I like to do is get a big knife, like I say, not fussing with the cooking today. That's a very hard lobster. Beautiful. Let 
there we go. That's all the insides, fresh as anything. And everything today is going to be grilled. Nice. They put in the tray. And then our one scallop, because I was too lazy to check, <laughs> is you've got to try and detach the mussel from the shell. There we go. Just like so. And we've got a nice piece in the middle there. And that is the is the money shot. Good job, just getting rid of the frills, which are the chewy bits, which is great bait. Just like so. Get rid of any of the guts. Keep that bit there. I'm not an expert on cooking scallops or anything. What I'm gonna do is, just like that, because there's only one now, and that will go under the grill as well. So what we've got is it all looking like this. And that, I'll let the uh, grill heat up, and I'll get those cooking. Just mixing up some garlic butter. This lobster's moving around in the grill. That's when you know it's fresh. I'm keeping an eye on my scallop. And I'll probably eat that first before the lobster's cooked. And get some garlic butter ready. Get that all mashed in. Just while it's cooking through, I'm gonna get a good old dose of garlic butter in there. And on the lobsters. You want to get that all over the meat and let it soak right in. This is by far my favourite way to have lobster. Garlic butter straight on top, just like so. And then as it cooks a little bit longer, I'll keep adding more. And that's what you call a meal, baby. Hell yeah! That's the scallop all cooked now, guys. Bit of garlic butter in there. I'm going to munch this before the lobster, and you can see how delicate that is. That's delicious. We'll definitely be going after these again. The small ones I found in the video before, they were, they were actually legal size. The legal size is 4 inches, which is surprisingly small. It's quite surprising. We've got Inglorious here. Hey. It's surprising how small they are, right? Yeah, yeah. But hey ho, there's more food for us. I'll get back to you once the uh, lobster's cooked, baby. Woo! Tasty! That's the lobster all done now. Smelling amazing. Woo! I'm not gonna fuss with the lobster. That's what it looks like. Lovely meat inside these things. Just pop it out quick. And look at that. Just falls apart, full of garlic butter. Mmm. Wow, worth going out today just for that. I didn't want to keep that giant lobster. That was a huge female. And that will produce lots of these for the future. So, killing stuff like that isn't really what I wanted to do. I was glad I found the second one. That's happy days. Mm. So I won't leave you any longer guys. I'm gonna demolish this. This tastes absolutely delicious grilled. By far one of the best ways to cook a fresh lobster. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more to come. There'll be more fishing now because the foraging tides are over I think till January. This was the last of the good ones now, but we've been bloody lucky lately. So stay tuned, it's smash fishing. Woo!